Hey there guys, so today we have another review. This is Darwin and this is Main Beer Company's Mo, uh, M-O. This is their pale ale that comes in at uh, 6% ABV and it is a pale ale brewed with uh, Warrior, uh, Falconer's Flight, and Simcoe. Uh, Falconer's Flight is actually a really interesting um, blend. It's a proprietary blend from a company and they just blend six, I think six different hops and sort of um, make a blend and sort of sell those pellets in that blend. Um, so yeah, Main Beer Company is in my mind making some awesome, awesome hoppy beers, uh, including their porter. And and um, we're with their port as well. But yeah, let's dig in the spirit. So spirit is nice and uh, slightly hazy, uh, kind of a, a light orange color. Let's get the aroma. Wow. I get in the front this wonderful kind of um, tropical fruit flavor. Very nice in the front. It's like mangoes and pineapple and all that good stuff. And then on the back, you sort of get that dankness. You get that Simcoe and that Falconer's Flight, a bit of like pine. A bit of bready malt in there. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. Jeez. In the front, it is um, mangoes and pineapple again. It's sort of that tropical flavor, but it's also melded very well with a lot of citrus fruit, oranges, um, grapefruits, a lot of uh, citrus peel. In general, the theme of the beer is sort of this um, grapefruit flavor, almost like just like biting into fresh pink grapefruit. You get that complement of hint of sweetness, that fruit flavor, and that bitterness from just fresh grapefruit. That's what this beer really has a good combination of. Mm. On that middle, you get a bit of maltiness that sort of, um, you know, carries the beer very well. On the back end, this beer is decently bitter. I would say this is a medium plus uh, bitterness beer for 6% pale ale. Um, on that back end, it's transitioned away from that fruitiness in the front and then onto this kind of um, piney dankness kind of thing. Uh, it reminds me of, yeah, Simcoe and um, a Falconer's Flight. It's just that bitterness, um, sort of attacks and grabs at the palate, grapefruit pith, um, bit of grapefruit peel, but yeah, piney dankness. It's a nice transition between the fruit in the front and that kind of pine quality in the back. Um, it's, it's almost slightly astringent. Mm. And then what I love about um, this beer is that, oh man, that grapefruit flavor is so nice. But then also, there's this, um, like, um, the, the, there's a biscuity flavor of malts. Um, this beer is very clean, very light bodied, very crisp and easy drinking, but somehow they get this um, biscuity malt flavor that sort of uh, accentuates itself. It sort of gives the beer um, kind of a, another layer of flavor. It's not, the malt isn't there to sort of hold down the beer, but sort of just add another layer of complexity. Um, really nice stuff. I mean, I can, yeah, talk about this beer for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this beer a 96. Very enjoyable stuff. Um, I think this is the better one of their pale ales between Pe uh, this and Peeper. Um, I highly recommend Zoe, another one, Wheeze, and then Lunch. I think Lunch is actually um, the overrated uh, a bunch of the hoppy beers, but it's still really good. And uh, in my mind, um, as I've gotten slowly more and more picky with my hoppy beers, I do believe that if you get can get Main Beer Company, it does have some distribution. This is some of the best quote unquote shelf hoppy beers there are. I mean, they're really making you know stuff that is worthy to trade for. Um, so if you're able to find on the shelves, even better. And this bottle is actually extremely fresh. Um, this bottle says on here seven fifteen. So this <laughs> this beer is something like seventeen days fresh. I don't know if I've you know it's hard to get fresher beer than that. Um, so yeah, really awesome stuff. So until next time, guys. Cheers. This is Main Beer Company's Mo. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.